also have the agility to turn on a dime, essential for catching quick, small animals. For centuries, the Suzuki has been bred as a long-distance runner. In a three-mile chase, it is among the world's fastest racers, and is barely out of breath. All because we want it this way. Today's Suzuki was modeled after the prize of the pharaohs. Those dogs were among a handful of ancient breeds that were closely related to the wolf. For thousands of years, dogs changed little. Then something fascinating happened. In 19th century Europe, there was a sudden explosion of dog breeds. became a status symbol of a new middle class, and the custom-made canine march was on. It became a kind of middle class hobby. So by the middle of the 19th century, we see the first emergence of the dog fancy, people actually selecting breeds and controlling who those dogs were breeding with. So they tried to isolate the breeds from each other. It was that process that led to the proliferation of modern breeds that we have now. They started with all these original primordial working type dogs which existed out there. It was a new science. Eugenics. The conceit of improving populations by selective breeding. It's because of man's tampering that dogs with large floppy ears, curled tails, pug noses, and short legs exist. The 19th century produced the Doberman Pinscher, the Bulldog, and the Bull Terrier, just three of the hundreds of breeds created during this time. Here in the suburbs of Illinois, a canine eugenics experiment is taking place too. But it isn't about looks, it is about ability. And the experiment has taken a bad turn. This prize-winning dog is in crisis. 